the reverse osmosis well plant gifted by the Japanese government to boost water production in Antigua and Barbuda. Presently we are doing the final touches of the installation as far as far as getting all the necessary hardware in place so that we can actually start the connection of the plant. Lead engineer of the Japanese team, Mark Aoki, says all of the components arrived Monday and explains the work being carried out. Now adjusting the position of the uh, RO and pump frame, then also at the same time we start uh, mounting the connecting the pipe for the main filters. Aoki estimates completion by 25th February, three weeks to complete the connections, one week's test run and adjustments, and another week's training for the operators. The team also includes mechanical and electrical engineers from the plant manufacturer. So they are <laughs> supervising the, all the connecting for the pipings by the mechanical engineer and also the electrical piping signal, uh, electrical wiring and also the signal wiring by the electrician. APUA's mechanical engineer for projects, Brian Nicholas, says the plant's production will increase from 500,000 imperial gallons per day to 900,000. We'll solve the problem, but rest assured, we are definitely working assiduously to bring water um, back to our customers on a 24-hour basis. Also critical to the plant's successful operation is the new pump room. As we upgrade in the plant, we're going to need control panels, and these are VFDs to control the pumps, the seawater pumps. VFDs control the speed of the pumps. Plant supervisor Jason Brown says the pumps will be transferred from the existing pumping station to the new one. The plant is a collaborative effort between APUA and the Ministry of Agriculture, the beneficiary of the grant aid from Japan International Corporation System, or JICS. As you've heard, quite a number of stages and a bit of work to be done to complete the commissioning of the Fries Beach Reverse Osmosis Plant. We'll keep you abreast of those developments. Sherilyn Beza reporting for ABS News.